Hello, Oz Dusole here with Datascopic, and a question came in from Sharon about taking employees, their start dates with the company, and determining how many paid days off they get. All right, and in order to do this, we're going to use the year function, year frac function, and VLOOKUP. So here's the business rule that less than six months, you get zero paid days off. After six months, you get five, one year, 15, and so on until you max out at 30 days off at 10 years. Let's unhide these columns. And here's what we've got. Penny, Norm, Nestor, Mitsuru, Riz, Georgette, all of these employees and their start dates with the company. Now we can calculate their years and we're going to use the year function equals year today minus the year of their start date. This year the start date. Great. Ah, and I have to do the absolute cell reference because I have today right in this cell in D1 and I don't want that to move so I have to put an absolute cell reference F4 now when I copy down great nothing bombed out as an error alright so these are the years but we notice with years there is something strange because look at J. J has not been with the company a full year. He still has about a month to go. But what the year function does, it just says 2013 minus 2012 is one. There you go. But in this instance, that is not good enough. So we want to use the function equals year frac. And it asks for the start date and an end date. Great. And let's put in our absolute cell reference for D1. Let's say F4. Copy down. Beautiful. Now let's look at J again. Now this makes sense because if we had left one as the direction we go in, J would have gotten 15 days off rather than five, right? Because he is under one year. He should only have five paid days off. All right. So now let's use the V lookup to bring over the number of days equals the lookup what do we want to look up the fraction of a year comma the range or lookup array all right and comma how many steps over we want two steps over and in this instance we want to do an approximate match, better called a categorized match, a tiered match, a level match. Approximate match is really a misnomer. It is not a good name for it. Okay, so, but we do want to put in true. And our absolute cell references for the range. Four, four. Got it. There we go. Right, Udita has been with the company just a few months. She's not even hit six months. Year frac tells us 0 0.24, and she gets zero paid days off. Great, and what about J? J is properly assigned five days off that are paid. 
and it is that simple so thanks a lot Sharon for sending in the question and if you do have any other questions please contact me Oz Dusole with datascopic.net and here's my email address Oz at datascopic.net thanks a lot